Hey guys, Jason here with a Dual Masters Plays installation tutorial. We get a lot of comments on our videos asking how to download the app, so what better way to address them than with a video? In this tutorial, I'll cover Android installation first and then PC, and I'll also leave some useful links in the description. Now, the way we're going to go about doing this is by using the Ku app. So it's basically a third party app store that allows us to download Japanese apps. The reason we need this is because DMP isn't available in the Google Play Store outside of Japan. So I've typed it into Google, as you can see here, what we want is the first thing in the description, Ku app game store. And I'll just click the second link here, which says download Ku app. So it takes us to the web page. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, it says download Ku app. We're going to do that now. The prompt comes up. This type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep going? Yes, I do. Dual Masters Plays is worth it. So after that, just click open, then click install, and it'll install. Should finish in a couple of seconds. All right, so it looks like the app is installed, and we can open it straight away. And here we go. As you can see, it looks very Japanese. Now, once we move past that ad, we can go into the search bar and type in as you guessed, Dual Masters Plays. So you just type in Dual, that's the first thing that comes up. That's nice. There you go, that's what we want. Ball Shack Dragon. And at the very bottom here, it says download 99.41 MBs, allow Ku app to download onto the device, and we are in business. So the file is actually a lot bigger than 99 MBs. Once you open the actual app, the game, it'll ask you to download more. So it could end up being, I think, like half a gig to a gig, just because there are a lot of expansions that you need to download. So just keep that in mind. Um, once you uh, download it from here, you aren't ready to play just yet. You're going to have to go into the app and then download all the digital cards. So a prompt has now come up for security. Your phone is not allowed to install um, unknown apps and all that stuff. So let's just adjust that in the settings here. Uh, click allow Q to install other apps. And then now we can install Dual Masters Plays. So it's installing. Again, it should take a couple of seconds, not too long. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back to the main menu. You can see here, here there's the Ku app, there's Dual Masters Plays, and then we'll jump into Dual Masters Plays so you can see what the menus are like. So I'm back at the main menu, just going to click on the DMP icon over here, and the first screen it takes us to, of course, tells us it's made by Takara Tomy, Dena, and Wizards of the Coast. Good to know I downloaded the right app. There are some screens here that aren't skippable, but they shouldn't take too long. Now on this screen, you're going to want to press the blue button. So it's just going to you know, take us to the main menu after that. Now, if we click on any part of the main menu, it's going to sync up to Google Play Games. After waiting for a couple of seconds, I don't think it should take minutes, just a couple of seconds. It should be synced up and we'll get the pop up right here connecting to Play Games and Okay, here we go. So there's this tutorial. I'm just going to skip it because I'm not going to get anything out of it. Hit OK. And then there we go. So a pop-up tells us that we need to download all of the digital cards, which are about half a gig, and to use Wi-Fi. So I just hit OK to that, and it's going to start downloading. So once that's done, we can go back to the main menu. You can access, you know, the deck building, the tutorials, settings, and all that other good stuff. Naturally, everything is in Japanese, but that's the basic installation on Android. So hope you have fun. Just a side note for iPhone users, it is possible to download this to your iPhone if you live outside Japan. It's just a bit of an involved process. You need to create a Japanese Apple ID for iPhone to install the game, and you'll also need to constantly switch back to this Japanese Apple account every time you update the game. Given the rate at which new sets are released, that's about every two months, possibly more for balance and maintenance updates. We don't recommend this, and if you're not a fan of this either, there's always the PC route, which we'll cover now. For PC installation, we are going to use the AND app to download the PC version for Dual Masters Plays. As you can see here, I'm on the page. I'm just going to refresh that so I can replicate the experience you guys will have. When we hit this page, the download for the EXE should start automatically. Naturally, as you can see here, if you want to download it manually yourself because it doesn't you know, automatically start for you for whatever reason, that's fine too. But yeah, so we'll just wait for that to finish downloading. So now that that's done, we can click on it and it should open the app now. 
So opening this app and starting it up does take a little bit of time, at least in comparison to other EXEs that I've used in the past, but really it's not a deal breaker. It just like it takes a minute or two. I feel like my attention span is so short that uh, just one minute feels like an eternity. I guess one thing you should also know is that this app is all in Japanese. So yeah, just be prepared for that. I think it's something that you already expected and it's not too hard to navigate around anyway. So do you want this app to make changes and all that stuff? Uh, we're going to have to click yes in order to proceed. <laughs> Otherwise, we cannot. And it should return to our screen shortly. Okay, so now that that's here, once this page loads up, naturally we're going to want to go through all the, the terms and conditions, which uh, we cannot read. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, we can just click start. Uh, Dual Masters plays is worth it no matter what they're asking. We got to play more Dual Masters. Okie dokie. So now the app has finally loaded. It's going to take us to the page that lets us select the Japanese app we want to play. So we'll just close that pop up. And as we can see here, Dual Masters Plays. Ta-da! So I'm going to download Dual Masters Plays now. Okay, so these two things that come up here, this thing asks if I want to create a desktop icon, and this asks if I want to start the app. The answer to both is yes. So I'm just going to leave those ticked. So the download has started. Um, it's this, If I were to take a guess, this is going to take a couple of minutes. It shouldn't be too long, but I will be right back when the download finishes. Okay, and I'm back. So that whole downloading to 98% took about three minutes. Unfortunately, we aren't done downloading stuff just yet. We still have to download all of the cards. This part takes a while, so I recommend doing something to entertain yourself while waiting. And like earlier, I'll skip to when the downloading completes. So that entire process took about 10 minutes to complete. Don't worry, we're almost there. A pop-up comes up. We need to allow DMP to make changes to continue, so just click yes to that. And we are finally in. Unsurprisingly, there are some unskippable screens we just have to sit through, but that's fine, they don't take very long. Upon booting for the first time, we are going to be faced with a menu where we have to click the blue button, so right here. We click, it should take us to the title screen, and now we're good to go. We hope your installation goes as smoothly as ours did, and happy dueling.